all right you are welcome again today let's talk about integration okay all right without wasting much time let's take a look at this question evaluate the integral cos x lin sin x dx okay we are asked to evaluate this integral of cos x and lean sin x dx please i want you to pay attention to this all right um we are going to use integration by substitution before integration by parts okay we are not going to use integration by part directly now we are going to make it simple first before we solve further look at what we are going to do using substitution method we are going to say let t equal to sine x this sine x inside lean let's call it a letter t okay that means we're going to have lean t right good but here before that here you can see that t is a function of x so we are going to differentiate t with respect to x okay so that means we're going to have the t all over the x is equal to when we differentiate sine x is going to give us cos x right yes so now let's cross multiply so when you cross multiply we're going to have dt is equal to cos x okay yes now let's go here we will say the integral of cos x lin sine x dx if you look at it very well you will see that we want to replace sine x with a letter t okay and we want to remove everything about x so that's the goal when we are talking about substitution we want to replace the variable x with something else so that it will be easier to solve so now since we want to replace x we have cos x and the x remaining when we replace an x with a letter t so look at this place that we made a substitution this one we just differentiated now where we say the t all over the s is equal to cos x and we cross multiply we obtain the t is equal to cos x and the x now in this problem or this expression where we have the integral of cos x lin sin x dx you can also see cos x dx and then in the above we have that dt is equal to cos x dx so that is to say why replacing sin x with a letter t we are also going to replace cos x dx with what dt because dt is the same as what cos x dx so let's let's replace now let's substitute let's see what we are going to have we are going to have the integral of lean in place of sin x we're going to write t then in place of cos x dx we're going to write dt you can see what we have now the integral of lean t dt very simple okay you know the problem that looks a bit complex have been reduced to this and then you can see that this one will be very easier for us to solve and for us to solve this we are going to use integration by parts and i'm very sure you still recall what we mean by integration by parts the formula is given as the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du right good here we have a single term just lin t so we are going to choose the lin t to be our u so here we're going to say let u equal to lin t all right good let's differentiate this u with respect to t that means we're going to have the u all over the t which is equal to one all over t cross multiply we're going to have t du is equal to dt when we cross multiply we're going to have what t du is equal to dt let's make the u the subject you know here we have u from u we obtain du so as we differentiate 
we make the u the subject. So making the u the subject, that means we are going to divide both sides by t. Then when we divide both sides by t, the u is going to stand alone. So we are going to have that the u is equal to the t all over t. All right, we said let lin t be equal to u. And we differentiate we differentiated the u with respect to t because u is a function of t. We have the u all over the t is equal to 1 all over t. That is when we differentiate ln t. It's going to give us 1 all over t, right? Good. We cross multiply. We have t du is equal to dt. t du is equal to dt. We say that from u, we want to obtain du. So we, uh, we make du the subject. Then we divide both sides by t making the u the subject so we are going to have that the u is equal to the t all over t now after when we say let u equal to ln t let ln t be called u any other thing remaining which is just the integral of the v the integral of the t okay so Immediately we said let lin t be called u. Any other thing that is remaining is going to be our dv. Then whatsoever that is remaining there is just dt. So we say that dv is equal to dt. Do you understand what we said? In this place we have the integral of lin t dt. We said let lin t be u. Then what is going to be our dv? That is what is remaining, which is dt. Then we have the v is equal to dt. Integrating both sides, we are going to have the integral of the v is equal to integral of dt. So when we take the integral, it's just going to remove the what the derivative, and then you are going to have your variable, which is v and t. When you integrate the v, it's going to give you v. When you integrate the t, it's going to give you what t. It's just going to remove the derivative. Are we together? Good. So now we have u, we have du, we have dv, and we have v. Then using integration by part, we will say the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So let's bring together all that we have. So here we're going to have the integral of lin t dt is equal to, we have t lin t which is v u or u v we have t lin t which is the same as what u v all right yes minus the integral of v is t then multiply by the u what is the u the u is the t all over t now look at this very well we have the integral of t multiply by the t all over t so here t we cancel t we are going to have the t remaining so we have the integral of lin t dt is equal to t lin t minus the integral of dt then when you integrate dt is going to give you t plus c so therefore we have the integral of lin t dt is equal to t lin t minus t plus c which is a constant are we together yes but you recall that we said let t equal to sine x we declared a variable t to be what sine x let's bring it back here in this place we will have the integral of lin t dt is equal to t lin t minus t plus c but you remember what we are solving. We are solving the integral of cos x ln sin x dx. Let's bring everything back. So we are going to have the integral of cos x ln sin x dx is equal to, in place of t, we have sin x, ln t, in place of t, we have sin x, minus, in place of t again, we have sin x, plus c so therefore the 
integral of cos x ln sin x dx is equal to sin x ln sin x minus sin x plus c. Alright, yes. You can also beautify this answer if you want or you can just simply leave it like this. Alright, thank you very much for watching our videos. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, do well to subscribe, like and share our videos. Stay blessed. Let's take more examples.